All right, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I am here on my day 25 for Mr. Rich's worst movies that I own. And today, we're looking at a movie that is on VHS and had a very limited release date for on DVD back in 2005, I believe, called Beasties. AKA Bionauts. And I'll give you the rundown real quick here. Made in 1989, has a 2.0 on IMDb. And for all I know, it's not available on eBay, but it was at one point. And where I got my copy was on Cinemageddon. So. <clears throat> Alright. So what's this movie about, since it's such a 2.0 gem? Well, the movie, in general, I'm going to explain it really badly, because it's it's a hard movie to follow, but pretty much, um, it starts off with a guy named Nelson and his girlfriend, and they're like at make-out point place, and a spaceship comes down. So with that, the uh, characters go and see what the spaceship is. Uh, they have friends with them that go and try to get the sheriff. The Nelson and his girlfriend go and uh, see what the spaceship's all about. And they're like, oh my god, the spaceship. Let's go and uh, go inside, see what's up. So uh, Nelson and his girlfriend um, go inside and they find this, these like weird eggs. And they're like as big as like big loaves of bread. And with that, they take an egg, and they go to the nearest house, where there's an ugly girl getting naked. And, <laughs> um, the other two, other couple characters, as I said, go to the sheriff, and the sheriff's just like, normal sheriff in like a bad movie. She, they're all like, you know, you're lying, you're doing drugs and smoking crack. Um, so with that... Um, there's like a cut to, there's this, um, group of, uh, of gang, lead, gang of punks from, you know, punks from the 80s that are controlled by this, uh, like, um, kind of weird alien demon looking guy called Osiris. They want the gang, the gang to go out and get, um, Nelson because he feels as if he's threatened by this Nelson character. He knows who he is somehow and he needs them you need to get him to bring him back there so with that Nelson's at this person's house the ugly woman that got naked um, the woman's like why you bring that egg in my house I just got attacked by creatures that came out of the uh, the uh, spaceship they came to my house and they started shit with me and these characters, these these uh, these uh, creatures I just spoke of, they look like characters that were like rejects from Ghoulies. They're very bad, and they actually remind me of the the creatures from a Deadly Spawn or the the, the Return of the Deadly Spawn or whatever you want to call it, but with eyes. They kind of look like that, um, except for the one on the cover here. That just doesn't look like it. Not this chick. The one kind of right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go with this. So eventually the gang members find Nelson, um, bring him back to Osiris. Osir Osiris then it goes into this whole, like, sacrifice mode where he needs to get, like, a sacrifice to appease his bloodlust or something. So there's, like, this whole weird girl fighting scene where it's like they fight with knives and shit. And it's a terrible effect where the one girl, which I forget her name, it was fucking like a terrible name, like Spike or like Bad Girl or something terrible. She like slits the other girl's throat, but like the way the effect goes, it's like the lines here, like where her throat's getting cut, but like the blood comes where the knife is, which is right here. I don't know. Um... 
So essentially Osiris is like, he, eventually he found out it's from the future. He came from back to the past to, to take w over the world. Um, and what you also find out is, it's, it's just like a mindfuck of a movie, that the, um, the spaceship from the beginning of the movie, um, Nelson eventually goes back to that spaceship and he finds out that he's actually the bio knot from the future and he's like this weird pancake face like it's like a flesh face that's like stretched out like this and like has b big black eyes it kind of looks like Krang from Ninja Turtles but like if it was done into like a crappy Muppet um and you find out like he, that that weird version of himself came back to warn that Nelson to defeat the uh, the evil Osiris that's coming back came back to his time. And I really don't get the ending, and like it just sort of ends, and you don't know if he won at all. Um, it just sort of stops. I don't get it. It's a weird fucking movie, and it really deserves a 2.0. Um, I don't know really what else to say about this, other than a little factoid about this, is that this movie was made by, uh, it was produced by Cinema Home Video, I believe that's what it's called. It's also the same uh, people who who released Creepazoid, and I believe another film that I put out on this, these movies that I did. I'm trying to think of what it is. I think it was My Pet Monster, the movie, the live action film. They also did that. So you see that kind of quality that they put out. Um, stay away from this movie. It's just like, it's a confusing film that it, it tries, but it just doesn't do. Um, like, I, I kind of want, I watched this uh, like once all the way through, then twice, like in parts, to try to kind of get it. It's confusing. I don't really get it, and that's why it's. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's a bad movie. But like, there's there's terrible synth music. The acting is wooden at best. It looks like a lot of this movie was put together by a bunch of like film students and frat boys that just had nothing else to do on a Saturday night, so they decided to like get up, make a bunch of puppets, and like try to film a movie around it. Um, I mean, the special effects are okay, but it goes up to, like, a ghoulie standard. It's not, like, something that's fabu. You're not going to get anything past, like, you know, subpar ghoulie effects. Um, and a lot of the things with the beasties that you find out is that they're killing people to repair sh that the ship that the Nelson finds in the beginning of the movie because it's made out of, like, human parts and shit like that. It's like a bio-mechanical pod that comes from the past. It's kind of like a Terminator feeling to it. Stay away from this movie, folks. It's bad. Um, I mean, there's people on IMDb that are dying to get this movie, but it's so, like, rare. Apparently, there's only 200 VHSs that came out, and there was a very, very limited release in 2005. The director of this film is, I guess, trying to get, like, people do a re-release of this movie. And the re-release, their DVD release originally of this that I understand is only, um, it's the SP format for the VHS. So it's not any remastered version, it's nothing, it's just, they take the VHS and they convert it to DVD. I mean, I could fucking do that with a program that I have, the, the VHS to DVD 3.0 Deluxe. You know, that's nothing special. Remaster the motherfucker if you're gonna throw it on DVD, in my opinion. Um... But that's all I gotta say about Beasties. This is my second time doing this review because the first one I really fucked up on. Um, so hopefully this one's a little better. Hopefully I explain this craptacular movie enough. Um, uh, there probably won't be any clips attached to this because this movie's so fucking rare that there's nothing attached to it. So I'll put a synopsis the best I can on this. Alright, that's it for my day 25 for Mr. Rich's Worst Movies that I own. We'll be back tomorrow or sometime soon with another one. Okay? See you later, YouTube. Bye.